In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Pydantic module with respect to the Fast API. Let's get this video started. All right, so here is what we left off in the previous video. We saw how to create multiple routes and we also saw creating a generic route as well. But for this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to accept a body request, uh, which uh, in, uh, in, in other words, uh, you can consider body request usually, usually comes as part of a post request. So how do you accept a body request in fast API? So there's two reasons why this fast API is considered very, very it's ultimately fast compared to any of the Python frameworks, even including uh, Flask and Django. Uh, so the reasons why this is super fast is because it uses Pydantic as a data validation module and Starlet in the uh, in the layer or in this example, we are using Ubicon as our base layer for creating ASGI le uh, level of uh, server. So this is the two reasons why fast API is super fast. So what is Pydantic here is that it's actually a dat data validation uh, module. All you need to do is just install it using pip itself. Just say pip install Pydantic. Now, like I told you in the first video, everything that you see as part of your uh, fast API creation is actually used uh, when you are going to be needing it for an on-demand basis. It is not actually part, this Pydantic is not part of your, uh, the base module itself. So like you can see here, it's uh, already saying that Pydantic module is already installed in my system because I, I already did it. So if you guys can do it as well, it'll just, we can get started with this video. All right, so let's go to the top and first of all, import from Pydantic. I'll import my base model. So what does the base model really do? Now, in this post example, uh, which we're going to be creating now, in this post app method we're going to be creating, I'll remove a, all the other app methods, uh, the delete as well as the API route as well. All right, so in this post example, I want my server to accept a body request that is going to have different fields in it. For example, name, age, country, and things like that. I want it to ac accept it as a body, uh, not as the header. So in order to do that, we are are going to be creating a simple model uh, which will automatically take care of all the ORM, ORM related things meaning that it will automatically take care of data validation data visualization meaning it will uh, create it as part of a redoc and docs as well and uh, what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be calling this as uh, a name probably I'll call it as name country or uh, name values something like this and I'll inherit the inherit it from base model so what does the base model do is that any field that you're going to create inside it for example I'll say name and I'll say that name is going to be a string all right so this let's let's let me move on to the next one which is lowercase str right all right so it's I'm going to be saying name followed by I will say country because country is also going to be an str and I'll say probably age and ages could should be an integer uh, I, I want it to be only an integer not a float and probably I'll say base salary right base salary uh, is going to be in float so what I'm exactly doing here I'm saying uh, create a field with name uh, accept a field with country, accept a field with age, and accept a field with base salary. So all of these things are by automatically, as soon as you inherit your base model and create your data fields, automatically this will be taken care of, uh, this will be the, uh, the uh, variables or this will be the only allowed keys that your method can now accept. Now, how do you do that? Now, just say name values, right? I'll go here and inside this, I'll say, I'll remove the username. I'll tell now, accept my name value and it's going to be of type name value. Now, this, uh, the the fast API is now much more capable of understanding that should be a name value that should be accepted now. And this name value should be of type name values, which is going to be a base model that we created. Now, all I'm going to just do now is that I'll just say probably uh, print the name value just for the example sake right and i'll return from the u uh, from the name value i'm going to be now returning uh, probably i'll just return the name back so the name i'll say name value dot that's it my work is done here so it automatically now return the name value and automatically considered it as a tuple as well so we don't have to worry about it and uh, what is happening now is that we can now send a body request instead of a header request you can now send a body request with all of these data values present now let's run our server to see what really happens uh, the command to run this is to basically say uh, is it clear okay ubicon i'm going to say ubicon and app main sorry main app i keep missing this up all right fired up let's 
let's go here and now i need to do is i just need to go to uh, docs and as soon as i go to docs it will automatically have my post data present now if you go here and uh, if you go here you it can automatically see that my uh, name value which i uh, inherited with base model from the pydantic module is now automatically giving me a visualization meaning i can now see for myself that it can accept a string country is a string age is an integer base salary is a float now all of this is accepted now i can test this out by just saying yeah now i cannot test this out by just passing the values here i can now say name is going to be um Bharatwaj and uh, the country is going to be india age is going to be 24 and the salary probably i'll say that it's about 1500.10 one something like this i'll just say 1500 dollars and i will execute this and you can see for yourself that the name Bharatwaj is written meaning i it is actually now able to take care of it now let's now do something else now instead of 24 here i'm going to say uh, probably um Chennai, where I live. It's not an integer, right? Now, if you execute it, you can see that for yourself, it throws a 422 and processable entry. And back here, it says very clearly why that thing is not accepted. It says that value dot error J code, I mean, value error when I, when it is trying to JSON and decode. And it's also very clearly saying that I need to pass, it's expecting a value. And instead of that, I'm getting something else. So this thing is automatically taken care of by fast api we don't have to worry about creating a clean uh, error response code and that, that is all a uh, overhead when you're trying to use flask or django we need to uh, every time create our uh, probably we need to define what is error codes we need to say what should the user understand from the error codes all of those layers are taken care of by fast api and it's amazingly cool all right so now this is uh, interesting it says that every field is now required every field is now required right but if you want to say let's say i want to i don't want few fields I can just now directly say just initialize it to none and it'll automatically um, not make it default it will make it will have a default value of none and not make it as required and that's pretty much how you create your um, you can send post request with the help of your pydantic module and only if you use the pydantic module you can send a post request via the body meaning if you don't have the body you can still send it via the header and like i told in the previous video it's not recommended all right, so is this the only way to now enter uh, body values? Meaning that is this the only way or if only use your Pydantic, can you uh, send body uh, request? Absolutely not. You can still send body request by importing the body from your fast API's base module itself. You can just say uh, import my body, which is a which is actually a class that is automatically going to recognize your methods and create it as a body method. Now, let's say I want to uh, add a new parameter here, like maybe spousal status or something like that. I'll just say spousal state us and uh, i'll probably want it to be a string married unmarried uh, probably that's the two values that you want and now i'm going to be saying that instead of uh taking it as a header if you directly put it like this it'll automatically be considered as a uh, header but i don't want it i want it to come as part of a body so what i'll do is i'll just say body off and i'll just make it default like take everything as default now one more thing here is that this should not come in the first it should be in the end meaning that the parameter placing is very very important so let me put it in the end or the last of my thing all right so now the spousal state is considered as part of the body itself and now i can now send it back again you can see for yourself uh, that it will actually be used and it will uh, probably come as part of our docs and redoc as well so i'll just say spousal status right and now let me fire this up again and i'll show you guys how this thing whole thing works all right let's let's uh fire it up and just as you can see this whole thing is coming as part of a dictionary and the final thing is coming as part of a string now one more thing that you also can uh, understand from this is that if you try it out uh, you can see that this is going to be Bharat watch my name and uh, my country is going to be India I don't forget about this uh, age is going to be 24 uh, probably and the salary is going to be 1500 bucks all right and the spousal status is going to be unmarried right something like this and when i execute it it will automatically take care of doing it for me and sending it back right at me so i don't have to worry about adding new values i don't have to worry about uh, giving a new key to my body and all of this is automatically taken care of uh, by fast api now this is uh, for the docs and i like i showed in the first video we can still do the same with redoc as well and this is also going to be having the same steps and it'll it, 
it will be very very easy for us to continue uh, when we are actually creating these uh, apis so pretty much that's what i want to show you guys for this video hope this video is informative and if you have any other questions let me know in the comment section below uh, let me meet you guys in the next video we have uh, videos coming out with authorization security how do you authorize your uh, fast api request and all of those things are coming up right in the next videos i'll see you guys there until then bharat peace out have a super awesome